Hi, let's talk about your Bloomberg group presentation. So you have a group, <laughs> you've talked together about kind of what you want to do. You will need to find an article at Bloomberg.com, and I would uh, I would like to actually have you, instead of going to Bloomberg itself, I'd like you to go to uh, www.resourcecenter.businessweek.com. I've asked you to come here earlier, and at that point, you had to register as a student, you found your account number, you put it in, that actually shows up in an email, and um, you you got your username and your password so you've registered as a student now you log in previously when you registered as a student you went and you did the career assessment so you clicked on the career assessment and you went through that process this time we're gonna go on this main page to disciplines and topics which is located here on the left click that look at these different areas and I would like you to select the area that pertains to your degree or the um, topic that your group has decided to investigate. So let's say you're all ITS majors, so you would want to look at information technology. If you're finance majors, you're going to look at finance, but let's say you go to ITS. Um, if you're marketing majors, you go to marketing. And here is a whole list of interesting articles that you could pursue. Now, I would like you to uh, either go through this long list or pick a subtopic that you think is interesting. Let's say you pick mobile apps. And your group decides, ooh, this uh, article, Coders Balk at Making Apps Searchable, is interesting. Now, you'll click here, and you'll read the abstract, which is an overview that uh, is written by this um, Angela Kaiser, who has her doctorate and you'll read her abstract. There are some discussion questions, quiz questions, and a short essay. You don't have to complete that, but that kind of gives you an idea of how to interest your audience, what, what other people might find fascinating. Now, you're going to pick an article that you think will be relevant to the class and to your own careers. You think it will impact your field, and you think that um, you can learn something from it and apply that to your careers. It might give you uh, a different avenue to pursue. So you read through this and your group decides, all right, I think we want this article. Well, you're probably going to want to click read the full article because that was just an overview. So you come and you read the full article here. And it's fascinating. Um, it's not very long. You will need to have one slide, PowerPoint slide, per person in your group. Um, plus one cover slide and each person needs to speak for about a minute so if you have five group members or four group members let's see you have five group members you're going to speak for about five minutes four group members four minutes three three minutes so that that kind of gives you an idea of how long this is going to last not very long at all you will want to interest your audience in your topic and Two groups are in the same class are not going to complete the same topic. So you will go to turnitin.com, and there is going to be a discussion there, and you will put in your, your title and your authors, so copy and paste, and claim that article in the discussion. If someone else has already claimed your article, your group is need going to need to pick a different article. Whoever claims the article first gets to use that article. So pick early <laughs> and stake your claim. This is actually a great um, report. Students love doing it. It gives you a chance to really explore some options. And since we group you by majors generally, you, you walk out of the class with an interesting sense of I, uh, ideas for, to pursue further, things that could really affect your careers. So I hope this answered some of your questions for the presentation. Make sure you practice and dress up. You will be filmed.